March is finally here and it's time for some Merrill Madness. Eight Southland men's basketball teams and eight women's teams will play in the conference tournament next week at the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. Once regular season games are completed Thursday and Saturday, the brackets will be set. I'm Hannah Chalker and you're watching the Southland Spotlight. Looking at the men, Stephen F. Austin picked up a 64-63 win over Northwestern State on Saturday to take a one-game lead on the Demons in the conference standings. Desmond Heyman hit a driving go-ahead layup with less than 12 seconds to play, and then Jalen West's three-point try, the buzzer, rimmed out on the other end, giving the Lumberjacks the one-point lead over NSU in a battle of first-place teams. With the win, the Jacks now have sole possession of first place in the conference. If Coach Danny Casper and his squad can get past Sam Houston State on Thursday, they'll clinch the number one seed at the tourney and at least a share of the regular season title. You can watch the Lumberjacks versus the Bearcats Thursday at 8 p.m. Central on ESPN3. Northwestern State would clinch at least number two seed with a win over Texas A&M Corpus Christi on Thursday. That game is at 7.30 p.m. Lamar with a chance to tie with a three-pointer. The throw-in. Caught by Williams, the shot, good, 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 count it, can you believe it? Central Arkansas is on a three-game win streak and clinched its first Southland tournament bid with a double overtime win over Lamar. UCA followed that up with a clean sweep of McNeese State, beating the Cowboys 68-67 in another game that went down to the final buzzer. The Bears will close the regular season at home on Saturday against Coral Roberts. Southland women's basketball tightened the race for first place with four teams within shooting distance. Sam Houston State defeated Nichols State to take over first place. The ORU Golden Eagles hit a half game out of the top spot. Lamar is a full game back, while the McNeese Cowgirls are just two games back of the Cats. The eight teams in each tournament are set, but seeds are still up in the air. And with the first and second place teams receiving buys until the semifinals, those spots are more important than ever. Last Sunday, it was UCA right-hander Bryce Biggerstaff. This week, it was Southeastern lefty Jordan Email. It's the second Sunday in a row that a Southland pitcher has thrown a no-hitter. With that, for each of the first three weeks of the baseball season, the Southland has a Louisville Slugger National Player of the Week. Email earned his first win of the season on Sunday as the senior left-hander no-hit Texas Southern as the Lions won 9-0. He struck out seven batters along the way and registered his first complete game. It was just the fourth no-no in school history and the first since 1979. It's pretty emotional for me, especially coming back from the whole back surgery thing. You know, being a four-year starter here, being a part of the Lion program, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. The Lions completed the series sweep of the Tigers and, in addition to the national award, Email was named the Southland Pitcher of the Week. Volker checks second, now comes to the dish, and Danford hits it in the air to right field, going back all the way to the wall, it's gone! In a game that went back and forth the entire day, Kyle Danford took the final pitch over the right field wall for a two-run homer to give the Islanders an 11-10 walk-off win and a series sweep over the Patriots. It was a weekend of sweeps for the Southland Conference. Texas A&M Corpus Christi won all three against powerhouse Dallas Baptist. Central Arkansas made it 11 straight home wins on Sunday, beating future Southland rival New Orleans 4-3 in a series finale at Bears Stadium. UCA's Forrest Allday earned a second straight conference hitter of the week award. Lamar also swept Columbia in a four-game series. Junior left-handed pitcher David Carter had another strong weekend for the Cardinals. He shut out the visiting Lions 6-0 on Sunday afternoon and recorded his first career save on Saturday. LU improved to 11-2 on the year and has now won seven consecutive games. The Northwestern State softball team continues to make history after blanking Louisiana Tech Sunday afternoon. With the win, the Lady Demons improved to 17-3 on the year, its best 20-game start in program history. NSU junior first baseman Brianna Rodriguez was named the Southern Conference Softball Hitter of the Week, while Central Arkansas senior right-hander Kelsey Armstrong was selected as the Pitcher of the Week. Although the UCA softball team had a nine-game winning streak snapped on Saturday, Bears did their best to start a new one on Sunday. UCA faced off with the host school Mercer 
and look to take out some frustrations, defeating Mercer 10 to nothing in five innings. McNeese concluded tournament play at the Texas Tech Invitational with an 8-4 win over Jackson State and a 4-1 tournament record. With the win, McNeese improves to 15-7 overall. And the Southeastern Louisiana women's tennis team is still perfect. The Lady Lions knocked off CUSA's Southern Miss and also took down Xavier, Louisiana and Southern U. The A&M Corpus Christi's men team won the HEB Tournament of Champions beating a pair of top 35 teams in the process. Also over the weekend, Texas Pan America went 3-0 and Nickel State picked up a win after blanking Alabama State 4-0. Stay connected. All year will be covering the latest conference news right here on the Southland Digital Network. Get updates everywhere you go by downloading the Southland Conference app for iPhone, Android, and tablet. And remember to catch Sam Houston State versus Stephen F. Austin in a women and men's basketball doubleheader on ESPN3 Thursday night. I'm Hannah Chalker. Thanks for joining me on the Southland Spotlight.